Hey, what's up everybody? A little while ago, I made a video called How I Practice Technique, where I showed off a little Max for Live device that I made called Practice Pal. The big news that I want to share with you in this video is that Practice Pal is now a standalone application for Mac and Windows. In this video, I'm going to give you a brief overview of Practice Pal. I'm going to show you how to install it on your computer, and I'm going to show you a fun feature that I've added since the last time I made a video about Practice Pal. Let's check it out. So Practice Pal is pretty simple really, it's uh, basically flashcards with some extra features for musicians. In this box, you type everything that you want to be quizzed on. If you don't want to type, you can always copy and paste. I'm just going to paste a list of all the technique stuff that I like to work on. The catch of course is that you can't use spaces, you have to use hyphens instead, but I suspect if you just type a list out like you normally would, you could get ChatGPT to replace all the spaces with hyphens. That could save you a lot of work. Anyway, once you have the things you want to be quizzed on in this box, you can set your minimum and maximum tempos over here. When you hit go, Practice Pal will give you an exercise, a tempo, and a nice drone as a tuning reference. You can control the volume of the drone and the volume of the click with these dials. If you need to change your audio output settings, you can click on this audio config button over here. It'll bring up this handy window for you to choose your output device. And if you so choose, you can adjust your sample rate, vector size, all that good stuff. But honestly, you probably won't have to mess with this. If you do change your output device, then this little power symbol over here might turn amber and the sound might turn off. So if that happens, just click it once and then click it again, and then everything should work out okay. Practice Pal has two fun interactive features. The first is this up-down box. If it bothers you, you can actually turn it off with this button. But basically, this box tells you which direction you should be playing your scale or technical exercise or pattern in. As you can see, it switches randomly. Your job as the player is to follow the directions that this box gives you without messing up. This way of practicing is meant to simulate improvisation by making you react to outside stimulus and adjust your playing in real time. The other interactive feature is this red-green box, which is off by default. You can interpret these colors however you like, but the way that I like to use this box is in the context of a little improvisation game that I came up with. Basically, when the light is green, I'm free to improvise however I want, but when the light is red, I have to play the exercise that's in this box. The goal is to switch between improvisation and technical practice as seamlessly as possible, and I found this to be a pretty fun challenge. I'm going to demonstrate it for you a little later. By the way, I made this app in Max MSP, which is a visual coding software that I really like, and this app actually uses Max runtime to operate. For this reason, it might be a little bit larger than you're used to seeing from application file sizes, so just a bit of a heads up there. If you're interested in building fun and useful music-related applications, then Max MSP is a really great way to get started. So in my last video about Practice Pal, I showed you one way that I typically like to practice using this app. In that video, I played the exercises in time with the metronome and I followed the up-down box. This time I want to show you what it's like to practice with the new red light green light feature. Let me just find a good track to play along with and we'll get started. Thank you. 
So if it's not already apparent to you, um, using Practice Pal takes all of my brain cells. I've got a long way to go. Practicing is a lifelong thing. But I'll be streaming my progress with Practice Pal. I think that'd be fun. We can find out together if I get any better at smoothly navigating the up-down buttons and the red and green panel and all that good stuff. All right, let's talk about installation. So installation is super easy. We'll do Mac first, and then we'll move on to Windows. To install this thing on Mac, just uh, double click on that zip file to expand it. This might take a sec. Once that's done, go ahead and double click Practice Pal. When you try to open Practice Pal, your computer will freak out at you and say, hey, we don't know who made this, so uh, we're not gonna open it. But if you just hit cancel and then right click it and then hit open like this, then you can override this message and just hit open and then it should run fine. Practice Pal might ask you to uh, use the microphone or access your downloads folder. You can hit no to this or you can hit yes. It actually doesn't matter at all. So yeah. That's all there is to it. So on Windows, the process is pretty similar, but the folder structure looks a little bit different. So the first thing you're gonna have to do is extract the downloaded zip file. So right click, extract all, choose where you wanna put it. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on my desktop so that it can hang out with all the other apps that I like. Go ahead and hit extract. This part might take a while. As you can see, there are a lot of little components here. This is due to the fact that I built this in Max MSP and Practice Pal uses Max MSP runtime to run. So all of these little components are, you know, part of the whole Max MSP infrastructure for running things. So don't be alarmed if this takes a while. Once that's finished, click into the folder, find the application file and double click that. Windows is gonna try and stop you from running this app because they don't know who I am, um, but you can override this if you just click more info and run anyway. And then bam, you're good to go. So there is one limitation for the Windows version and uh, this is kind of annoying, but the application will only run if uh, this Practice Pal application file is in the folder called Practice Pal. So don't move it anywhere. If you want though, you can make a shortcut for it. Just uh, right click on the application, hit create shortcut, and then you can put this shortcut uh, on your desktop or anywhere you want. And I've even provided this little icon file if you want to change the icon for that shortcut and have the official Practice Pal logo on your desktop. So yeah, that's Practice Pal. If you download it and check it out, be sure to let me know what you think. If you have any idea for other music or practice related apps that I should make with Max MSP, please let me know in the comments. As always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to support the channel, and I'll see you next time.